Hi Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this Christmas card. I'm going to make one that's going to, I'm going to change it a little bit. My branch isn't going to have leaves on it for a start because there's no leaves in winter. Um, my robin's going to be the same and I'm not going to have Merry Christmas for the fact is I cannot find this die. I've lost it somewhere. I'll come across it after Christmas more than likely. So I'm going to change this bit here. All right, to make this card I used Free as a Bird stamp set and I just used him to make my Robin, which is here in England. A Robin is our Christmas bird. I'm also using the Snowflake Sentiments and I'm just going to put May the Miracle of Christmas Fill Your Heart With Joy inside. Help if I got it out. Um, stick that on there. What else am I doing? Oh, here's my leaf. My leaf. My tree. I'm going to have it come in this way. Um, I have cut. I don't know if you can see. It's covered in snowflakes. These snowflakes I've stuck on and I have cut loads of them using. Oh, I've got a word stuck up. Um, using a load of snowflake dies I've got. And I'll show you the dies in a sec. So there, I have loads of. I won't use them all, but I just cut them out. And I use these snowflakes. As you can see, I've got a few, but that's not all of them. I've still got about 10 more. So I cut some of these out. Um, and at the bottom, I'm gonna put the word Noel, which I've cut out in red, out of the small retired, um, Stamping up dies, I think they are. So I'm going to be using that. Card base is and my normal A6 card base, eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eight, folded in half and burnished. Don't know if I did, but I'll do it again. Um. I've got two pieces of white card for the front and the inside. They are five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And scrap for the robin. So to get started, I need one of them. Oh, I need both of them. Don't need the card base. Don't need that. Right, we'll stamp our bird first. So we can dry to be coloured and cut out and just stamp in there. Yeah. And then we'll put him to the side to dry. No, I need that. We're going to stamp the sentiment. and stamp that in the middle upside down and I over stamped so that's it that's our stamping done let me clean my stamps. And <clears throat> right, in this bit, we're going to place 
snowflakes all over the page. Big ones. I'm not going to put any right at the bottom because we need to stick the word Noel on. But Um, stick on there. Doesn't matter if you go over the edge because we will chop them off. Oh, I've got another small one. Let's put that on there. put that on there. Alright. That's quite a big one that. Let's swap it for that one. That's better. What's that about? There we are. That's how it's going to be. So, we need to stick all these snowflakes down. I mean, you could just um, use an embossing folder. That'll make it boring. I know I've got snowflake embossing folders. to glue every single bit as long as they're down The longest part in this card was cutting all these out. But then, I, when I made the first card, I did cut loads out together. It's not taking me long to stick them down. But then you can fast forward your... Don't need to watch all this. One more.
there we are. Put them away for another time I need snowflakes. And then let's stick the lid on my glue. What we're going to do now is just trim these off. And there we have snowflakes. And this will stick on there. Let's stick that down now. So our robin can sit on the branch. Right, I'm going to put the word Noel down. A bit sticking out there. That's it. I think it'll make it look a bit more Christmassy having the word Noel in red rather than in black like I did on the other card. You're watching this I'm obviously happy with the outcome the L to stick down. Oh, I'm doing this off screen. Sorry. I'm getting good at that. Right, let's stick this on our card base.
Right, now it's back to our robin. Right, with the robin we're going to be using these colours. I have got Smoky Slate Light, Real Red Light, Soft Suede Light and Croncate Light. Right, first of all we're going to do the robin's breast. As you know, robins have red breasts. Then we're going to go around with a bit of crumb cake. Is crumb cake dark? It is. So let's get a bit of light. And I'm just blending in the red. Like that. Just to take the harshness away. And I did use Cronkate Dark. And I put just a few lines. Concave dark in it, and then soft suede light. And I'm going to give him a grey beak. Oh, I want some. Crumb cake to... shadow under his wing. Now I'm going to just colour that bit in so it blends in with the branch. Right now we need to cut him out. Right, I'm going to cut him out over on the line should I say not leaving any Um, white border. as you can see we have a robin and then this robin will sit on there like that and I'm going to put them on dimensionals so I've got 
some large dimensionals here, put one there, one there, these are our half dimensionals. Snip off a bit for his tail and his feet. Second oldest granddaughter's birthday today. She's nineteen. And she lives out in Scotland, so I won't see her today. Oh, bless her. Right, the next thing I did was put gems in the middle of each snowflake, like I did on this one. So we should do that with this one. Right, make sure they stick. I am going to put a blob of glue in the middle of each snowflake. I can see that is. another one last one and there we have it can't get glue lid on the glue Which one do you prefer, the first or second? I actually like this one better. Yeah, I like this one better. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. If you um, press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.